Hi everybody, here's Christian. And this is Gerion. And this is Trace 5. This is January, our January review of tra of games that we recorded uh, on Trace 5 in uh, January of 2018. Yeah, and this and is now the Düsseldorf <coughs> Championship yes. series. Yes. Um, so this is the fifth game from that from um, from that specific uh, store championship. So we are talking about the third round, the first game from the third mm -hmm. round. The first uh, two rounds were apparently not very interesting. The second one I played against uh, against Django on the right here, and it was a very very short matter. Yeah, and it's a matchup you can have every Thursday, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we know each other very well already, and Jan is of course the the one of the strongest players here from Cologne. Definitely, absolutely, um, and he is doing quite well at this point in the Store Championship. Mm -hmm. um, on the left, we have another uh, runner from Cologne, <coughs> very Cologne yes. heavy. Uh, this is Puslappen. Yeah, he's also a very strong player. Absolutely. Yeah. And so uh, uh, two of our best, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, and we have on the left we have Palana, so like a very econ-heavy uh, ID from Jinteki. Gets a credit basically every turn because it gets a credit every time the runner draws, draws a, card. a card. Yeah. The first time the runner draws, yeah. draws a card. And on the right we have um, you might not see it because it's kind of like with this weird special uh, custom alt art, but this is Max. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, again, we saw Max previously in a in previous game here. Not an unusual ID to play these days. Very fast, so it's good against CI yeah. kind of builds. But this is not a typical matchup for this current mm -hmm. meta. This is kind of very unusual. Uh, Puslappen is being, uh, as always, uh, being creative with his decks. He has like his yes. favorites and he sticks to them. And he does very well with them. Yeah, so. and he's, he's, a, he's a pretty good deck builder, I think. Very unlike uh, Django, who <laughs> who always plays the most broken meta stuff. <laughs> yeah. Very consistent. He's kind of like a very good like whatever Jan plays is probably the good deck right it's, now. It's a good deck, definitely. He's like a so inject. Yeah. Okay. So the, here is an inject uh, happening here uh, again. Love it with Max just like trashing everything uh, to get the things that she needs. Uh, and this in this case it just a bunch of cards. No, didn't find any programs, which is fine. Uh, Puslappen also, again, playing very unusually for today's standards, where it's like, okay, I'm going to install a lot of ice, and I'm going to mm -hmm. cre maybe create a scoring server. So yeah, this is an interesting build with Max, because um, this one relies a lot on recurring credits. So that's why we see the data folding here mm -hmm. happening. Um, I like it. Mm, it's it's kind of unusual for Max because Max trashes a lot of stuff, and if you trash all the data foldings, you might not get your econ up. But the data folding just is just a, such a, such a cons consistent um, yeah. source of money. If you get it early, it's it's really good. Mm. And so that will f um, fuel his uh, his economy for a while now. Beanstalk in Palana. Is that Beanstalk? I think that's Beanstalk ah, royalty. It might be been Chrisium though. No, no, what? Oh, bean, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I thought you were talking about the actual beanstalk. You mean beanstalk royalties? <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. I, I think it's a good card to kind of like get up from yeah. from resin like Chiashi or something, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we see a. Um, um, it's a bit. We're gonna move the camera in the next see. games, but um, this is a, 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 clo a liberated? liberated account. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's one of the cards that I'm. I'm a bit sad that they didn't uh, do a, like a new art, art for this for the new revised course. It's not uh, bad. It's I not, think it's, it's fine. It's a yeah. fine art, but it's just like you've seen it so many times. You want to see, you know, something new. <laughs> All right, and then daily casts. Yeah, all the standards. Yep, yeah, very predictable, very reliable. Uh, we also already see some really juicy cards on um, the Puslappen's hand. We see mm -hmm. a philotic entanglement, mm -hmm. really nice, but not the first agenda you want to score. No, definitely not. Um, and also we see a, a snare. We see also interestingly a Mumbat City Grid. So he w absolutely wants to go for the economic game. Oh. So Mumba City Grid is an uh, upgrade that has to be trash when accessed. And it's horribly expensive. It's quite to trash, trash and does nothing otherwise. <laughs> it's just an empty card that you trash, that you have to trash. Um, so very good to create like scoring windows when punishing the runner for being very aggressive and being like, nope, you have to pay all this time and money. And now we see the thing that brought me down when mm -hmm. playing against, against Jan. He just discarded a Maw, yeah. but he has a second Maw on hand. 
um, that we're gonna probably see him installing this very soon, as, as soon as he has good targets for it. And now uh, injecting even more stuff, finally getting his first breaker, I think might be first breaker. Looks like a paper clip. It is a paper clip indeed. And then getting also a bunch of um, day, um, street peddlers, which is also nice. Okay, yeah, and we're gonna see those street peddlers now. Each street peddler gets three cards installed on it, and then he can then at any given point install yeah. a card, one of the three cards, and, and the other can speed. Gets yeah, that's a really good ability. Yeah, really nice to keep some uh, surprises yeah. in the backhand. And so more. Mm -hmm. So as I said, but now there's not really good more targets, and it's not like he can run somewhere. There is a lot of nasty eyes that Jinteki got yes. recently. It could be, um, I mean, it couldn't be a Chiashi because there, um, Poslepe cannot actually rest a Chiashi now. Oh, yeah, but he, a DA tracker could be possible. He could. Yes, is exactly on twelve. Is it twelve? I thought it was thirteen. No, it's twelve. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. <sighs> Well, he can rest it, whatever, yeah. it, however, however it was. Now, because he's up to 16 credits. And uh, apparently, uh, Jan is not happy about trashing all of his hacktivist meetings mm -hmm. in, uh, with his max ability. He uh, wished he had this for uh, against this Palana matchup. It would have been a really great current to have right now. Um, there is a lot of um, upgrades that... that yeah, but so far, we, the only economy we've seen from Philip's side is uh, operation-based. So yeah, no, no, I'm sure he is... It's not heavy. Yeah, right? he won't be creating economy service, I'm sure. Um, but there is upgrades here, and those upgrades are yeah. very important to keep everything secure. So even if he rests those upgrades, then with a hacktivist meeting, that would be right. costs a lot of a lot of cards. And uh, something that's really nice, the hacktivist meetings also plays very well into the maw. <laughs> Maybe uh, also to reiterate, so Maw is like this very expensive console for Anarchs that uh, trashes cards from the hand of the corporation. Yeah. And, and, and it does it randomly whenever you ex access something and don't steal or trash it. Yeah. And oh. it's like a very aggressive thing that shape uh, that uh, Anarchs often can do when they run all over the place, trash your entire hand eventually, and then you just basically have to top deck whatever you... Uh, whatever you draw into, you have to install it and play it because it's going to be gone. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it's a very easy way. Okay, so there's yeah. a run on HQ, and that is indeed the DNA track I was talking about here. Yeah. Which means Jan has now installed some kind of solution for this. He, I'm guessing he's use, he's looking for the... Oh, he had! Oh, I, I didn't see that. Okay. So he has the uh, Black Orchestra that he can install now. These heap breakers are so efficient. Ugh, disgusting. So how much does it cost? Oh, it's nine in total. Is it nine? Holy crap. In including the install. Oh, okay. Okay, he's Jan is not happy about mm. this, but, but uh, you know, what are you going to do? Ooh. And a wow, it's, it, it's like two agendas that he has on hand, right? And so they do something that, that I don't like, where Puslapen said, like, oh, this doesn't get trashed, mm -hmm. but the rest does. But they should have actually did it yeah. one by one, because there was also a uh, I had worse on hand, and that I had worse would have triggered mid trashing, so, right? Is that how it mm, works? I don't think so. No, it all doesn't? of the trashes happen at okay, once. Okay, never mind. Okay, I, so I, I think it's it I think it's okay to do it like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I guess that was back in the days when they did like double scores, right? Because then it would trigger in between. Mm -hmm. Or like when you do yeah, like but then obviously it did because he had these two different clicks. Okay, never mind. Then I stand corrected. That's good then. Okay, so um, so. Um, Django was like happy to steal his Obakata, paying the four net damage to steal his three point agenda, almost halfway to win the game. Poslap not very happy about this pull installs, mm. and I like this. Have you seen this? Have you seen the agenda that he just installed there? No. Is it? It's the brain, tr brain, brain trust. This is brain trust. No, it's not brain trust. Brain trust is the basically empty. No, the one that, that deletes the, the archives. Um, Chronos project. 
Yeah, exactly. There's a brain on it. That's why I yeah. thought it was called brain something. Okay, so yeah, Chronos Project and Stalter. If Django runs on this, uh, he can intercept this one pointer. But if not, that would yeah. be a huge blow it's for Max. It's a huge blow for Max. Yeah, it's a huge blow against any deck that that relies on the uh, bin breakers. Yeah, there's bin breakers already in there, right? Yeah. So and he's at least one paper clip. Yeah. Um, maybe even maybe even more, um, but. I mean, the only breaker he's got out is the Black Orchestra. Yeah. That would be devastating. I wonder if maybe Puslapen um, might have not just not rested the DNA tracker and then to to make sure that the, the that the Black Orchestra mm -hmm. also gets deleted. But uh, you know, you never know what happens. And and if he yeah. had not rested the DNA tracker, maybe it yeah. would have also, we don't, we don't know what's on the first of all, we don't know what's on the street peddlers, and yeah. we don't know when he drew into the uh, Gross project. That's true. It's almost kind of good that Django accessed the agenda because that's really kind of like stopped him, uh, created a lot of trashes and stuff like that. Uh, if he had rest, uh, something that he cannot trash, the mall would have triggered and yeah, that might sure. have been even more damaging actually in the end run for uh, for uh, Putzlappen. So maybe, give, maybe giving up the, the, the Obakata was actually a good, a good result of this HQ run. And something that's, that I like about, about Jan, he's, he's aggressive, especially as, yes. as Anarch. He, he is keen to run. He recognizes those positions where, where he can just be uh, contesting servers. Running on this... Uh, also, like, just running into the server with an upgrade, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. come, come at me, bro. And maybe now Puslap actually thinks about this. If he reses this, yeah. he, he gets an opportunity to install... To, to install another breaker. Yeah. So what do you think the upgrade is? Hokusai Grid? Mm, Maybe? Uh, I think this might be actually... Um, uh, what's his name? Hokusai is uh, Batty. I think it's a Batty. Batty is also... Although he, there is a Hokusai on top here. I think it's a Hokusai, right? Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, because Django is also thinking about trashing this now. Because if, if that's a Hokusai... And the, the other one is probably not a Hokusai because then Puzzlap Mode would have been re um, rested probably already, right? True, he's, he's got money enough. Okay, so this Hokusai gets trash and this is the Betty. No, it's a Chrysium. Chrysium, okay. Okay, yeah, so I guess this is the indexing protection. Yeah. Uh, not, the Chrysium not getting trashed. But now the more triggers because the Chrysium is not trashed, so this is bad. Never look at the cards that you maw away. Maybe an insta loss, <laughs> depending on how lenient your opponent is. <laughs> And this, there it is. There is yes. the Kronos project. So this is a painful situation for every Max player to be in. Like, oof, these these were my resources. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I depended on these, but they're gone. Yeah. All the cards and archives are removed from the game. And um, and Django does like a like a checks what what he lost there. Yeah. There's a lot that just went away. I mean, it's probably not that bad because of the six cards still on the peddlers. Yeah, but still painful. But still, it's it's painful. D depending on what was in there, this could actually be game winning. Like if yeah. if um, there is a specific mm -hmm. breaker that was twice in there, because yeah. I'm assuming he's playing two copies of each breaker, um, that can be actually just GG right there. Um, but yeah, now he's building up a new archives here, you know, starting from scratch. Django at three points, puts Lappen at one point. Tough. It's kind of also an interesting matchup because um, I think because of the um, max ability, I think Puslappen gets automatically a credit every turn, right? I think he does. Yeah, because yeah. there's draw every turn anyway. It's draw every turn. So uh, as Palana, you're always happy to play against people with Earthrise hotels. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. I mean, that's kind of like the whole deal. Like, you do net damage as, as um, Jinteki and then force people to draw into more mm. cards. You have, they have to have good <laughs> cards. And that gives you the money that you, that you need to rest. More damaging stuff. All right. I wonder if um, Django didn't trash the Chrysium Grid because he doesn't have an indexing. Maybe. Or maybe he thought he just didn't have the money. Okay, running on Archives uh, R&D again. 
It doesn't trash, so more triggers. Now this 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 is now the more grind. This is the new this is the new yeah. I hate more. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible, horrible... It's a horrible, horrible card. It's just too powerful. It should have been something else. I don't know. I mean, the, the card itself is maybe okay. What I find uh, so frustrating about this is, is when you're in that more lock, mm. it is so, so difficult to get out. Yeah, of because it. the trash is from hand. Like These yeah. cards is, are the things that you need to keep people out. Yeah. So if you can't keep them out, your chances to keep them out are getting smaller and smaller until you're just like, they run all over you. Yeah, and you can never count on, okay, let's draw into this and then I'm, yeah. I'm fine again because everything will be trashed, mm. more or less. I think it's a very should frustrating have had, experience to play. Mar should have had some kind of like counters on it, where it's like when the counters are yeah. gone, like it's 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 finished, something like this. I don't know. It's it's yeah, or maybe. maybe it should cost one credit or something. Yeah. It's just it's just so powerful. Yeah, the six to install is not enough. Yeah, definitely. Like, do you remember when they released like Blackguard? <laughs> yeah. Like good, which I would actually love to have right now. <laughs> now that so. there's credit kiting, god damn it. Yeah. Holy crap. And compare Blackguard ability to more. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so there's a, speaking of very expensive cards, there's a run around on R&D and now finally puts up and decides to rest the Chiyashi. Yes, and then no way to break it. No way to break it. The paperclip was removed from the game, so now there's going to be like four and, uh, Obviously four no paperclip on any four of damage? the peddlers. Is it, four, is it four damage? Yeah. Yeah, two times two damage. There we go. Oh, oh there's no. this uh, Levi, 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 Levi. <sighs> so where is the second uh, Chronos project to remove that from the game? <laughs> and he's got one. I felt worse in hand, right? Mm, yeah, but that's not. <laughs> that's the only card that he was left with. <laughs> How typical! How typical! Hopes maybe for a... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is going all bad for Jan right yes. now. Oof. Rough, rough. Forcing the trash. Jan is now down to four credits. Mm -hmm. But Philip also down to two. Yeah, that Chiyashi Res yeah, was, was an expensive cool. one. Uh, but, you know, he will, yeah. he will be back in money again. That's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. He's fine. It's fine. Um... Okay, it's not even in the snare range, so maybe getting two credits and starting a snare or something like this. That would be funny. Actually getting three credits, yeah. yeah that three makes sense. and then... But he's now not earning any more money off of Jan's uh, RD ability. Oh, right? yeah, because, right, because archives are gone. <laughs> I mean, RD, uh, yeah. I mean, the heap. <laughs> I mean, the stack. The stack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, so um, the whole deck has been drawn through, so yeah. there is no any card draws anymore, yeah. uh, which is so actually the, very convenient for Django. It, uh, but on the other hand, he's now he. It's impossible for him to steal Obokatas. Yes. But uh, also, Puslap is not a position uh, to start scoring Obokatas. So no, that's true. If, what is that? But he he could, he could easily do install advance advance because there's nothing Jan can do about it. Hmm. That's true. There is a second pa um, paper fold, uh, data folding. Uh, yeah. paper folding. Um, so that's good for, for Django. He, his economy engine is uh, revving up. Um, I'm guessing we're going to see uh, some um, same old thing Levy very soon. So Puslap might actually want to start scoring stuff. Yeah. That's true. But he doesn't have the Obakata, right? No, does he have Obakata? No, that's still the Flotic, right? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't do and that is it the, doesn't do enough right now. That, that's the commercial stuff, right? Commercial. The, what's what's the name of that thing? Commercial bankers group? No, no, the the four two agenda that is that gives gives you money. Um, corporate sales team. Yeah, that's the one. I run on archives, nothing in there. No breach domes. Oh, there is a breach dome. Yeah, that's good. That's very bold of Jan to be doing this if he wants to recur the levy. He probably has the same old thing on one of the peddlers. Oh, that's a fair point, Gerion. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Ooh, two breakers on one of the peddlers. <laughs> that's lucky. Oh, 
Wow, and Star's even one of them. Oh, a second Levy in the other. <laughs> okay. Oh, lucky Jan. Holy crap. That was good. Those were two, yeah, two clutch is there, peddlers. Is there still a barrier breaker anywhere? Have you seen a paperclip? No. I'm, I'm not seeing one either. Maybe he, the paperclips are all gone. That would be bad. He's counting the cards, making because sure. Because stupid Kakuya. I mean... Kaku, Kakugo? Kakugo Kaku, would be a big deal. It would be a big deal for also him right Also Chiashi is not... Chiashi is also <laughs> not something you want to run every turn. <laughs> like Kakugo indeed would be... Uh, is something that is played very often and would just stop uh, Django dead in his tracks. Um, but those builds, we saw at uh, Max yeah. before. Those builds often run something like Fum. I mean, they haven't seen one, but maybe he has one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can say that loud. Yes, Jan just said the selection is quite limited. <laughs> <laughs> like Jan's com under under the breath commentaries are always always very uh, entertaining. Of course, he always is very unhappy and just you know a couple yeah. of minutes before he completely demolishes you. So, That's true. So you know, I have very little sympathy for for him. <laughs> In the most warm-hearted fashion that is that exists. Oh, there oh, is. There's there a paper. Yes, paper. Yeah. He's, okay. he's fine. So he's fine. Just needs to face check Chiashi again, and he'll be yeah. fine. Um, probably not really happy about trashing the third data folding, though. He would. I think he would yeah. prefer to have it installed. So that's bad. We see Puslapen also getting up into money again. That's good. Uh, daily casts. How will he recur the the, what? the levy? Because he has also another same old thing. Did you just have like a second same old thing? It must be a second same old thing, yeah. Okay. Oh no, the can be the same actually because same old thing gets reshuffled with the levy. On the, oh, that's fair. Only the levy gets removed. That's fair. Okay, Puslapen needs to have some kind of game plan. We haven't did uh, see any changes in Puslapen's board state for a while now. I think he no. needed some time to to get in back into money back now. Back into money after the Chiashi res. Now he seems like he's yeah. doing better. He's trying to create a scoring server here. It's kind of funny, like sometimes even though, like the moment usually when uh, the Max does the Levy is usually a good moment for you yes, to come back. because Levy is pretty expensive. Yeah, and also like, the, you know, um, uh, she needs to kind of find her, her bearings. Usually it kind of costs two clicks for the same old thing and stuff like that, you know. But um, but right now, Puslapen, was, this was very bad timing for Puslapen because he was so low on the money because of the Chiashi. So uh, he wasn't able to really exploit this window, and he has to come back in a very unfortunate moment where um, where Django is uh, was, is slowly recovering from the from yeah. the levy. So this is actually very interesting, and we see those agendas piling up on HQ for Putzlappen. Again, yeah. um, we're not going to probably see a lot of runs on HQ no. through the, the... Not through the DNA tracker. DNA tracker, very, very meaty icy. Oh, I love it. Uh, but now, of course, Puslapen has to show his, his card. So this is the cele celebrity gift. And now Puslapen has to show what he has on hand. And he will reveal that there is a lot of agendas here. So Miraju, there's an ice. And, you know, you just know when yeah, people start revealing I, uh, agendas, you just know that, oh, things are not not going well. Yeah. You know, two agendas already, that's, that would win the game if if, if uh, Django can see both of those. Another two-pointer mm -hmm. agenda, oof. He doesn't even need any, Django doesn't even need to have, oh, but a snare. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a good... That's a deterrent. That's a good a way to end a, <laughs> a um, celebrity gift. Just to, to make, but you know, there, I think he kept one uh, one card yes, on hand. Yes, one hidden card. Yeah. And if he saw that, you have to assume that the last card maybe is also <laughs> an agenda, which also a snare, <laughs> or or like that. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the kind of thinking you want to instill in the runner. Oh, by the way, I have two snares. Well, but then he would have probably yeah. shown two snares just through because he I I Postlapen's goal is probably not to make Django run on HQ, but. From what we saw, it's like yeah. Jumbo has every reason to run HQ. Yeah. He has the money too. He could try to have a lucky yeah. poke. Draw up and run. Or 
even I mean he has a maw. He can just start mawing stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Difficult, difficult situation for Poslatin to be in. He did a lot of damage, but Django survived. He's kind of like a res resilient um, bacteria. He was treated <laughs> with uh, antibiotics, but uh, but only the resistant parts yeah. survived, and now they're coming back. Yep, getting the monies. That mixture. Mm. We have to get Jan to to play the 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 poker chips. It's it's not good. Yeah, at least be consistent. Seriously, <laughs> man. What you play? <laughs> <laughs> maybe when does he have birthday? Maybe we can. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe we can be making a gift. Hmm. Okay, second same old thing. Second same old. Just setting up stuff, getting credits. And getting a credit. All right. Poslavan, do your thing. Do your do the thing. The thing. Poslavan blowing through his lips. Not sure what he will, can do even here. Yeah. 15 credits is not Good. too much for Django to have. Couldn't take some out. He installed something. And again, that's a kind of a big problem. Django saw so there's a lot of agendas on hand. Mm -hmm. And he saw that, for example, there's Philotic maybe that's Puslapin trying to get out of Philotic. If, if it is, maybe worthwhile to run there. On the other hand, Puslapin also um, up in the money again and seriously in the money again. Yes. So maybe there's a second Shiyashi there. I don't know. Could be bad. So he's on 22. Yeah, Puslap met 22. Has 17. Jan has 18 now. 18? Uh, 19. 21. 21. Boop! Okay, so this is the deep data mining, right? Mm -hmm. That's probably the one card that you want to play against Chiashi. Absolutely. Getting out a paperclip. And then paying a lot of money. How Do you know how much? 77 or something? He just paid 11. Oh, that's a lot. That's I mean, a lot. It was including the paperclip. Okay, install. so seven so, for, so for the seven break. to break you, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a high impact run, as, as yeah. we say. Okay, so the first card is not being trashed, so now immediately more triggers, and we saw it. The, the hand is full of agendas. Whatever he fits, it, it's going to be great. Even if he trashes the snare, that would be great. Mm -hmm. um, even if he trashes the mirror, Drew, it's great. So yes. the, whatever is there, it's going to be great. And oh, there is go. There we go. The one agenda scored. That's going to be the uh, house, house of, of knives. knives. I don't. I'm not sure that Puslapin really want to score the house of knives at this point. Um, but uh, it's not really helping Django too much either. Oh. So it's kind of like an empty calorie agenda. Thinking about this dirty laundry somewhere, perhaps. Yep. On archives, checking archives, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, that's bad because there is a breach down, so he has to eat a breach down for it. But he can choose. Oh the... no, there was an agenda. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... yeah, rough, rough. So what do we think about this game? <laughs> Jan winning again. I thought he was done for. I, yes. I thought I thought he wouldn't be able to recover. This is kind of amazing. Like how how does he always manage to come back? Yes. Or was... good good Jan. Jan, how do you do it? Yes, please tell us. Please tell us. What's your secret? What's how you... Oh, oh this yeah. was good. This was good. So we saw... Yeah, but it just was... Like he just said, if he hadn't uh, hit the, the Obokata mm. with, the, with the Maw, he wouldn't have won. Yeah. And, and if, so just, if it was any other agenda, it yes. would have been nice. And then he would have eaten a Breach Dome and exactly, and, and yeah. things would have continued. Yeah. So he was really lucky with the, with the Maw. a lucky punch. But, you know, that's the problem with the Maw. Like... Um, it's 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 just another way to win the game. Yeah, 
it doesn't have to be something that you rely on, but it's just something that that really yeah, um, tips the scale in your it favor. It hasn't got anything to do with skill or something. It's yeah. just pure random number generation. Yeah, it's it's almost back in the days like the like the noise thing, where it's like also you just randomly yeah. trash top things on top, and sometimes you just keep yeah. trashing things and just win the game. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, uh, we're going to move on. We're going to show you more games from Düsseldorf. There's going to be more stuff coming coming up. And you see Django is uh, dominating the top table. So I'm pretty sure we're mm -hmm. going to see more games with Django in the future. I yeah. hope you'll join us next time around. And as always, hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me.